As he read on, he became convinced that the Sabbath was indeed the Lord's day. Upon returning home, my father made the decision that he would serve the Lord with the new knowledge of the truth as it is written in the word of God. First, he went to his church and spoke with the priest about his findings and wanted to compare Bibles in case there was a difference in Bibles. The priest reassured him that the Bibles were the same. My father asked the priest, why do we keep Sunday if it is not according to the word of God? The priest replied that the church made the switch from Saturday to Sunday in honor of Christ's resurrection. My father decided to follow God's ordinances further than, um, rather than those of men. The priest dismissed him with God's blessing. My dad then explained to my mother that he had a conviction of a new faith which he was determined to keep. He did not force his wife to accept, but only asked for her understanding. My mother did not object or try to discourage him, but remained neutral. However, his family was very much against it, as well as the entire community where he was born and lived all of his life. Six months later, he was drafted to serve again in the military reserve and was forced to leave his home and his wife with two children and one on the way. His beliefs did not allow him to yield to the rules and requirements of the authorities as to bear arms and work on the Sabbath, which he now observed as the Lord's day. As a consequence, he was sentenced to prison for three years, during which time he was exposed to threats, mockery, and torture, while his wife was traveling at home with young children and no financial support. When he returned home, my father decided to leave his homeland and his possessions and move far away from his idolatrous family in order to serve God. Like Abraham of old, he led his wife and children into a land that was unknown to them. They passed through many trials and hardships, but they trusted God that he would not forsake them. My mother also accepted the Sabbath, embracing the new way of life and together they raised their five children to love and serve the true God, Jehovah. Many of the relatives on both sides of the family accepted the faith and were also ready to suffer persecution for the testimony of Jesus Christ. As a result of their labor, we now see the fourth generation lifting and carrying the banner of truth. Praise be the Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we shall sing this song. May I just say one sentence? I forgot the very important fight. My dad was telling my mom that he was in the Second World War fighting Germans, that he never killed one single German. He had a soft heart like me. He would aim the gun over, right over the head, painters over the head. He, you know, he wanted to be avoid, his conscious avoid the offense of a gun and man. He was a lieutenant in King Alexander's army, but he never boasted about it. He was a professor of military guard. He was very humble about it. Thank you very much. And for your testimony as well. It's quite something. We don't really have that now anymore, so it's very good to hear these testimonies. And at this time, um, Brother Larry and Sister Ivanka would like to sing Hoswanya Pos Brahma, I believe. Okay. It's a group. Oh, it's a group? Oh, okay. Yeah. So please will the group set forward.
Thank you.